now, uh, now the next question. The Disney Golf Classic starts with 64 golfers. The golfers form pairs and each pair plays a match. The losers drop out and the winners of each pair then form new pairs and play again. Then those winners form pairs and play. This continues until there is just one winner. And how many matches must the winner play? That's the first question. And B, how many matches are played by all golfers to determine the winner? So let's examine this. So here I have a diagram uh, that shows uh, the players playing the matches and will allow us to uh, count up uh, and answer the questions and the problem. Uh, to begin with, right here at the start, we have 64 players. Okay, the first round, half of these players play the other half, and half of them win their rounds, and half of them lose their rounds. Then, at the end of the first round, we begin the second round. We take only the winners here, and half of them play the other half. So we have 16 losers and 16 winners in round two. Okay, so then we go to round three where half of these players play the other half and we end up with eight losers and eight winners in round three. Half of these play the other half. We have eight losers and eight winners in round four. Round five, half of the four winners play the other half and we have two winners and two losers. And then finally in round six, the last two players, the loser plays the winner. So there are two questions uh, to answer this problem. And the first question is, how many matches must the winner play? Right here, A, how many matches must the winner play? Now the answer to that question is, the winner has to play this match in round one, has to play a match in round two, a match in round three, four, five, and a match in round six. So the winner must play six matches. The second question that has to be answered is B, right down here, right here, B, how many matches are played by all the golfers to determine the winner? So we can look at that here. We can say, well, there are 32 matches in round one, shown here, 16 matches in round two, eight in round three, and so on, all the way down to the last round and you can add them up and you get 63 matches total to determine the winner. Another way of looking at it is to say that in each match there's a loser and in each and there are 63 losers uh, and, a, and each loser only loses one match and they're out so 63 losers means there must be 63 matches. Another way of answering this question uh, is, is, is that. So uh, this is how we answer the golf question uh, and uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Okay well the next problem here is uh, number seven and um, there's a, a image of a polygon right here and uh, the question is to draw the lines of symmetry of the polygon. This particular polygon, by the way, is called a pentagon. And um, so let's go over here and look. I've redrawn the pentagon. And the lines of symmetry uh, are the lines where the, the, uh, uh, the mirror image is reflected uh, from one side of the line to the other. So let's look at, uh, at this line right here going from here on down to the midpoint say that's one line of symmetry because the, obviously I think it's pretty clear that the, the Im image on one side uh, is the reflection of the image on the other but because of the symmetry of the, uh, of the image this same property holds with this line and, uh, uh, and it holds with this line okay, right here and it holds with this line that goes from here uh, to here. Okay, so uh, now the maybe everything doesn't look uh, uh, as symmetric as it might because of uh, my inability to draw the pentagon properly, but uh, here is a, 
Um, uh, here are all the lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to the first one again. And that if I had been able to draw a perfect pentagon, each one of these areas, these triangle areas here, 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 and so on, each of these would be exactly the same size and have exactly the same dimensions except perhaps oriented differently. So we have five lines of symmetry uh, for this shape. Okay, the, the final problem here, number eight, uh, says we have a four digit number. Okay, no digits in the number are repeated. The digit in the tens place is three times the digit in the thousands place. The number is odd, and the sum of the digits in the number is 27. So let's look at that. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, so here I have our statements repeated again, and here I have our four digit number. Say the, uh, ten, uh, the thousands digit is A. The hundreds digit is B, the tens digit is C, and the units digit is D. Now, the sum of the digits is 27. Now, uh, that means that the three digits must be fairly large because, for example, if all the digits were 6, which they can't be, but if they were all 6, then 4 times 6 would be 24. If all the digits were 7, 4 times 7 would be 28, which would be close to this sum right in here. So these digits have got to be pretty large. Now, let me say that the, the digit in the tens place uh, is 3 times the digit in the thousands place. So let's look. If the digit in the thousands place were 1, that would make the digit here 3. If the digit here were 2, that would make the digit here 6. And if the digit here were 3, it makes the digit here 9. The digit here were 4, because 3 times 4 is 12, that doesn't work. So this digit must be 1, 2, or 3. Working from the, the idea that the digits are fairly large, we'll pick the digit A to be 3. So let's pick this digit to be 3 right here. Okay, there's 3. Now I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to... Uh, cut down the size here of the stroke to make it a little bit easier. Okay, if that digit is 3, then this digit is 9. So there's 3, 9. Okay, now let's set the digit is odd. Well, 9 is the largest odd digit. The second largest odd, odd digit is 7. So let's pick a 7 there, as we know the digits have to be fairly large. And, uh, and we want to make the sum of the digits 27. Well, 3 plus 7 is 10, this is 19, and that means in order to make the sum of the digits 27, this digit has to be 8. So here's the number that satisfies all our conditions. It's 3,897. Right there. That's the answer.